to do everything out. yourself. First of all, he doesn't respond. <laughs> Percival left. Merrick, we need your, we need Percival back. <laughs> Merrick's running naked. A little preoccupied. <laughs> They're brown. <laughs> the cats. <sighs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Why is my theme terrible? <laughs> I mean, I can help. I'm just not all that sneaky. Jovan, can you cast fly from a distance? No. No, I can only cast it on myself. I believe. Wait, if you roll higher, you can cast it on others, but that can't. Can't you descending. climb up and then let down a yeah, rope? Yeah, I don't really believe in my ability. You yes. climb sheer surface. Yes, but at, I, he can't pull himself he up. He can't pull himself up. Can't now, you pull I, him up? Yes, but then All right. he's not sneaky right. and he's not fighty and he Didril. can't run. Didril, should I make my way over there and... No, because that would just add insult to injury. Right now, people are distracted by a fight. If we can get Percival back over here, we can get you to cast S Smallin or Smaller Eyes. Reduction. That's harder. <laughs> I think... can't. Oh, you can't just reverse enlarge well, and make it small? You want me to spell burn more? <laughs> yeah, more oh. is gone. Oh, okay. on for the day. Oh, no. See, I don't know how this stuff works. So Wait, don't you I keep just casting magic. until it disappears? No. So the person success goes, come on! To, uh, Hang on. Each, oh. I get to cast against each point. Did you not one. know this? That Orano is that. kind of like a, a potato okay, right now? Okay, I'm going to come and heal him then. You're... Like, I don't know what other option we have. How are you going to get in? There's a guard out there. Oh! They're all distracted. Psh, psh, I know. I know what to do. Cats. I'm gonna cast magic rope through Percival. There we go. Okay. All right. Good. Oh, you were you were expecting this the whole time. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Um, yeah. Don't try it, Joven, because there's so a guard out there. That I looked we... it up. I was wrong about karma casting. Oh. You add a d5. Ah. And then you subtract a d5. Ah. Doesn't make a big a bit of difference though. Yeah. In that original thing, because I got high enough. It's fine. Uh, whew, wow, okay, so that's a 12, that's a minimum, I summon a rope. Yay! <laughs> so, Percival's, uh, but but how exactly do you summon a rope? That's the question. It just appears, it, um, comes out of the ground, I believe. Yes, rope explodes from the ground. I don't really, okay. Does it explode noisily? So, so it just goes, so you're at the bottom of the pit, yeah. and Percival looks down and goes, Fine, here I'll help. And just like this rope explodes out of the ground and, goes, and coils on the edge of the uh, of pit and hangs <laughs> it's an, down. It's another rope. Yeah, we don't care about that. The point is that the rope needs to like coil around Urano and like carry him up. Percival goes, What do you want? I'm a cat. <laughs> I'm a cat with a rope. You, I... are, you are not a cat. You are a cast. Man, you focus. Focus. Subtracted no rope. Okay, now I got it. Now I got the twenty-two. Minus, wait, even with yeah, the minus, minus one. one. Okay. Yeah. There's twenty-two. Um, with minus two actually, because of what? the D five. Okay. Um. What? Yeah. There we go. That's exactly what you need. Every other yep. casting is plus and minus. Yeah, but seventeen. Yep, it can entangle a target and then it can rise four hundred pounds. Twenty-two. Um, it can rise up four hundred pounds, so it can just go. So Percival goes fine, and like us. And the rope like lifts up mm -hmm. and then shoots down and ties around Durano yep. and ties around you and just like loops you both and, like oh. ties you together. Oh, okay. It can nice. lift up to four hundred pounds. Okay, so sure, well. why not? And then the rope like hoists both of you up out of the pit and like sets you on the thing. Does Percival pretend to undo it? Itself. Yes. He like pulls it back and he goes, You see you see what I do for you? Okay, so <laughs> does the rope attach to the ground? No, well, it's it not attached to anything. Oh, so can the rope just carry Carry Rano the whole way back? Yeah. Yeah. Last yeah. Like, how's totally the Oh, yeah. Okay. You're just going to carry him? Yeah. It'll be faster than so walking. So hangs and, like, yeah. like, hangs on to it. And he goes, this is strange. Yeah, magic is. Just right. just go with it. Are you sure we won't be seen? No, you will be seen. That's why I'm not coming with you. Ah. All right. So so you're just going to have it lead him up the stairs? The rope that? is just going to carry him at full speed out. Uh -huh. And when they're here, because there's no way he can sneak by. So it's, there's going to be hue and the cry. And they're going to say, oh my gosh, there's a rope escaping Harado because right. it's stupid. And everyone's going to go crazy. And when all the distraction is happening, I'm just going to like walk out oh like, in classic you know, 007 fashion and just stroll out as if nothing's going on. Okay, so Arano gets hoisted out of there, back up the stairs and stuff. And, uh, you know, you hear this, you, you hear this, like, he slides out and you see him, you know, disappear and go up the stairs. Um, there doesn't seem to be any noise that comes from up above, though. Oh, that's shocking. And Percival goes, huh. I did not think that the guard would be that distracted. Want to get out of here? Yeah, okay. 
No, let's wait a few moments, just, just no, in case. No, let me get into, t- so I can, like, see the door from, like, far away. Oh, yeah, yeah. That you're going to come out of. Yeah. And I'm going to, I'm going to, like, work my way over so I can uh, see the door that they entered. Okay, so you, like, can look what down. Is it, what the, does it look like? You yeah. can look down the archway that leads into the Coliseum, and then the door's on the side. Yeah. Yeah. So as you, as you look, you can see, um, Arano get pulled out of it, and he's, like, lying on the ground. And the well, I mean, like, like, are there guards outside before they exit? No. So that's what I'm checking. No, okay. there aren't. They're, most of the guards are distracted by the fright in the middle. Okay, cool. And Arano still, gets, like, pulled, happen. pulled out, like, dragged out of the, out of the thing, and just goes, mm-hmm, and looks around, and he just, like, gets slowly pulled out around the corner of the, of the thing. And one of the barbarians, like, just as his feet slide around the corner, turns around to look back, and then goes, huh, and, like, notices that the cage door is open, and then walks, and then walks whoa, 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 whoa. towards it. Why is the cage door open? It was closed. It was? So, yeah, we had a whole conversation about it. Him, yeah. But Percival made a specific comment about and it And James open. said, of course I closed the door. Yeah, not because an you're a moronic cat that thinks that I yeah. don't actually do burglary stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Normally, I'd agree, but James did specifically say... Of course, I close the door. Well, then that was the whole point of making that point that Percival oh, okay. is an idiot because he thinks I've never been a burglar in my entire fourteen years of living. Oh. And, like then, then Arano hits the door with the rope, pulling him out, and gets stuck. Oh, the rope it. doesn't have manipulation abilities. Well, it can't open the door. Oh, it can. No. Oh, I thought because it's it could like roll like, around. around. Yeah. yeah. It and takes like a whole round to, to it for it to like turn into any shape. Oh, I thought because it picked oh. him up that it was like. Yeah. Rope trick, right? It's like you mentally command. So you're gonna open the door, no, no. let it run off, float right, out. Then I come out it. with him and open the door so that he can get out. Okay. Also, the thing is that th- does it just drag him on the ground? I thought it no, could it, carry it, it him. No, it lifts him. It lifts oh, him okay. a bit. All right. Because if we drag but, him on the ground, around the, he will be dead by the time like, Yeah, but it's like his feet drag a bit, like they bump. Sure. Up and down. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, so you like follow him up with Percival, yeah. open the door, and the barbarians are like all distracted. Yeah. And you like shit the door behind you. Yeah. And you move back around the side. Yep. Okay. So yeah, he just gets he just gets pulled out of there, and the uh, the barbarians are all distracted by the fight. Wow. Well, it's okay. good. Leave right. no man behind. I okay. guess they're not that paying attention anymore since they figure Arano is so weak he can't he do anything. Super weak now. And now that he stopped screaming, this is probably the first rest they've had as guardians. Yeah, maybe so like, they can like to relax. Yeah. Okay. So I wait a little bit until it's clear that Arano's like past a block away, and then I just sneak out. Okay, the rope okay. eventually disappears. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and take your Arano. Yeah. So Arano's like lying there and he sees you come up to him mm-hmm. and he's like lying on the ground and he looks up and he goes A little like an alley. Yeah. He goes, You Hello Arano. And he like rolls over and picks himself up shakily and goes, Heal me. Absolutely. <laughs> Lay on hands. But but of course you should give him yeah. the typical sarcastic Dodrio answer. It's like yeah, this is not my person. Really well, I mean that's a four dice if he's also neutral, which I assume he is. He's yeah, he's neutral. Oh. Crazy. Is that the only thing that's relevant for healing in DCC? Like, yeah. Uh, so no, just worshiping alignment. your own god doesn't. No, uh, there's a, oh oh yeah, 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 just alignments. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, worshiping your own god, you're definitely like yeah. Um, yeah, it means your means... god smiles upon you for using his power, you know. Right. Or, okay. You know, it's point. Uh, so so the cuts and nicks on his face heal up and stuff, and all the bruises and slashes mm-hmm. heal up. His bruises heal and stuff. Um, but he stands there as before, and he's still like innervated. And he looks at you and goes, "Thank you. I must rest." I. Now, I, did I hear everything that happened, or were you, like, communicating yeah, yeah, to me yeah. telepathically? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, did they steal your strength? Like, do we need to I do somehow not know. obtain it? Because you still look like a, a shadow of yourself. They made me drink some kind of horrifying mixture. After that, I don't remember much. Just flashes. I coughed, I retched, and then I became this thing. I wonder if uh, you will be able to perform this. Sacred duty. duty? Not without loss of bed rest. He looks terrible. Unless yeah, you have some crazy healing power that can restore or whatever. Yeah, I can't like really that. do that. Maybe yeah. Maybe he's just had strength drain or something. Yeah, is, is healing it. also restoration? No, 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 no. Oh, That'd no. be too good. Okay. There this is, is restoration, but you can't use it for spell burn. Oh, okay. I believe. Yes. I'm just used to DCC having everything like rolled into categories right. where we're yeah, it's true. It's true. It, it usually it does, been. but not with this. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna detect magic on him. See if there's an enchantment. Okay. We're out of the woods now, right? Yeah. Okay. You, you moved off. Okay. Okay. Good. Thirteen. 
Uh, there is no magical enchantment upon Arano. Okay, that's a good sign. Alrighty, so you guys just head back to the Duluhan with Yeah, him? yeah. yeah. Uh, Arano is like, we've completed the mission. Um, we're we'll sending off in some small room upstairs. Do you want anything else? So you guys make your way back to the Duluhan, and at that point, the guards have returned. Ah. Oh, um, I, I give Arano his sword. I have kept it. Safe. Well, hold on. We'll get to that. Oh, in a okay. When we get back. So, so yeah. So you guys like head back. And you see the guards milling about outside and stuff. And there's a couple more of them. And they look around as they see you approach. And goes, ah, oh, there you are. Oh, are there are more guards than last night. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Did Poe not open the place? Uh, apparently not. Um, but the the door, you know, you, did you guys lock up when you? It's hard left? to get good help these days. Well, I thought there right. was. I thought people were in the bar. So oh wait, I didn't question. didn't you beat us back? So you and your naked. I ran running. back as I was ripping off my clothes. Yeah. Was I able to make it inside? Yeah. Or the oh, guards okay. got there to see the naked. Yeah. American okay, American. good. So the door yeah. is closed. I did. I like close it and lock it. I, did you? Well, I mean, I was ripping off my clothes, so I don't think I would have probably thought not about locked it. it. No, okay, you probably, probably closed didn't lock it. it. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, the guards see you arriving. Sure. Okay. Go. Um, we're coming by again. Yeah, we saw that. We sort of expected it. In fact, I'm actually surprised you left last night. Well, we didn't want to. Intrude. Anyway, it's so, just it's just that you know when you're guarding a place, as as a burglar, you know we do most of our work at night. So it seems like the most ideal time to not abandon your post is in the dark of night. So they peer down at you. And go, <laughs> you mean as a former burglar, Daedrio? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So oh, that's uh, right. Yes, yes, yes. You I always forget. So they they peer down at you and go, "We had other business to attend to." All right, I'm not saying that I'm do, you know how to do your job and just pointing out that you know I surprise you guys left in the middle of the night. All right, so you guys, so they they go wandering into the bar and stuff. Right. And they're all filling we in. We drag there. Arano up to the upstairs. Yeah. And make him some make him so, some food. Some chamomile. A couple of the a couple of I followers wrap him in a shawl look at him. Yeah, a couple of followers. Him how weak he is. Look look at him and like, notice him as he goes by, and Arano goes, "Get away from me! I must go and rest, and then I will train, and then I will make the barbarians pay for what they have done." Probably tell him that. His priorities are, like, in the wrong order. <laughs> Urano, there is a greater threat. A threat to the whole city. A threat to many lives. Yours and mine, as well. And to the balance of the gods. Spanis must be slain. And it must be tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What? Spanis must be slain tomorrow? Well, the next day is the ball. Well, tomorrow no, is the tomorrow ball. Is the ball. Tomorrow evening is the ball. At which point, we may be forced... To give aid peace. aid the keepers in their plot and give them the amber uh, reservoirs, which would allow them to take control of Svanis, which we don't want. We want the opportunity to slay Svanis before that happens. He looks at you and he looks down at himself and goes, Netra's testing me. Fine. Where is the hurry? Where is the horrendous thing? I know not, but tomorrow we will hunt it out. It you must. It must be so. High noon. Do you have my sword? I, of course, I have kept it safe. And it has helped us greatly. So he, like, takes it from you. Doesn't, like, snap his wrist or anything? <laughs> oh. No. No, so he holds on to it, and he goes... And, he, and he, he can hold on to it. Like, he can hold on as well as you can. Okay. And he looks at the palm and goes, Yes, it is good to have this back in my hands. And he, like, closes his hands around it a bit. And then moves his hands down the half of the blade and brings it over his head like this. Mm -hmm. And just lifts it up a bit and gives kind of a light test swing. It's like a slow, okay. deliberate kind of... <laughs> He's about to attack motion. me. No, I was <laughs> hoping that it, the weight would just make him topple yeah. over. <laughs> oh, and he switch, and he, you know, tests a bit, and he goes... And he pants from, like, a couple of tests, and he goes... This will be the ultimate test for me. Where is Samson? He got... He went out for some supplies yesterday, but has not returned. Yeah. He said, I'm going to get a pack of cigarettes, and then we never saw him again. We must look for him as well. But, is, but is he... Will, will he be of, of use in, in finding and slaying Spanis? No. I will rest. Samson will return on his own. We actually never saw Lee Lin leave, right? He just disappeared. No, he left. He said, oh, I'm going to get some food. I, I, I will oh, say, okay. bless you. And I bless him. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. 25. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, man, if I can give him a bonus to his sleep check... <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no sleep check. I don't care. There is I'm now. Look, look. We uh, we off. want to restore him and and empower him and uh, I'll just bless him because 
Bonus to all attack rolls, damage rolls, and saving throws, skill checks, and spell checks. The bonus is equal to 1d3 plus caster level rolls at the time of casting and lasts for one turn. Oh, d3? Yeah. Wow. That's a right. plus seven. Sweet. For the next turn, Ten he minutes. feels like Ten he's on minutes. top of everything. Well, see, he must feel Netro's warmth. Yeah. yeah. The so guiding light. He smiles a bit. Goes, and take hey. comfort. I have never felt better. Perhaps I should go and hunt the beast now. No. <laughs> Rest. Use this energy and focus it on yourself. And so he puts a hand on your shoulder and grabs it, and you, you can feel it squeezing. Together we can, bit. we can conquer yes. Spanish. I understand now. You are no heretic. You are a priest. And you are a true champion. Yes. And he smiles and lets go of you. He goes, I am. And he walks down the hallway. <laughs> I thought he was going to say, like, like, you, you are the chosen one. <laughs> yeah. I, I like how he always thought he was a heretic up to this point. Yeah, just because <laughs> like, cause I was like, don't kill everyone. No, everyone is a heretic <laughs> until proven otherwise. Yeah. That's fine, I don't care. So he, he makes his way into his room that... and shuts the door behind him. He's going to fucking break a ton of things <laughs> no, for that ten no. minutes. He's, I, I want him to like meditate and like focus his chi. Like, I give him the room. Like a, like a blade. We give him the room with the least amount of the crap in it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he gets a plus seven roll, a plus seven to his role of becoming a cleric. <laughs> yeah, he might actually Ooh, become a cleric. Maybe get first level. Spell. Maybe he'll like fuse his warrior class with his pa- with a new, with a new cleric no class and become a paladin. A no, no multi classing breaks the system. Yeah, so much. yeah. He, he single handedly breaks the system. That'll be amazing. He can't. He can't. Uh, <laughs> all right, so the guards are chilling uh, in your bar. What are we doing until tomorrow evening? Um, oh, we got a whole day. If yeah, I yeah. rest up at all times. All the time until tomorrow night. Would I be able to get some spell burn back? Yeah, I give it back. Well, you already spell burned today, though. Yeah, so I'm saying if I rest up, so it's eight yeah, o'clock, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got so it's I twenty-four got you. It's hours, o'clock. and then rest. Take the time between that eight o'clock to the evening as rest. Right. Yeah, that'll work. I'll get it. Okay, I just want to get the next night because it'd be all right. wonky. But you gotta rest. I I go straight to my room and rest. Okay. I must prepare myself for. Embarrassing myself at a ball. Sure thing. And Percival oh, like prances along actually, next to you. Do I need to? Here, I need to look up some numbers. I'm gonna go to rest for now. Okay. Percival oh, like prances up. along next to you as you're going to sleep and goes, Hey boss, I was promised a pastry. Also, you don't know what you're wearing. I'm not wearing anything. <laughs> it's all the rage now. Command showing up at balls naked. It's like it's the in thing. Oh, so I ripped up my <laughs> scarf as well. <laughs> I guess he did, yeah. This guest of honor is so honorable. His did job he, his job he, is to be a distraction. Yeah. It's like, he oh. Honors I imagine clothing. he's not naked, he's just in tatters. All right. I'm pretty sure the spell description is very specific about it nakedness. It said naked. It's, it's the word nakedness clothes. is okay. in the outcome. Until he's naked. Okay. Said that. It specifically it said... It said naked. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that scarf is gone. It's naked. Okay. Fine. It's been taken care of. Unless you want to GM Fiat and no, say that's, it that's stays. No, that's fine. It's ripped off and yeah. It's gone. <laughs> what if you were just naked except for the crappy scarf? I don't think it's possible. Funny. You, should develop yeah. a, you should develop a story that you only wear invisible clothing now, and that is the finest clothing that can only be seen by paradigms. You just walk around. And everyone would just be like, wait. Well, the paradigms would probably just go like, you're a liar, I don't see it. Yeah, probably. Must not be they, don't, they don't have any reason to like you they have or, no reason or to pretend for you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. If I, was a re- if I was a bard who was a really good liar, I could do it. Yeah. Like, drink this poison. Like, I could do it. It tastes the best. But I wouldn't. Because only true paradigms would survive it. Anyway, so you're in your nakedness. Like, no. Of course I'm true. In your, in your mostly nakedness, you go, you climb, you clamber up to bed. Wait, does he have to stay naked for a certain amount of time? Or no. just, it's done? Nah, nah, so as soon as it's done, he can put yeah. clothes on again. Yeah. It's, okay. like, it's like one in the afternoon and you're nah, going to bed. Nah, I like it's, it. it's like nine. Because the whole thing was fast. Yeah, yeah it's like, it's like 9 Ten minutes for the plus one. 9 a.m.? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. He well, was just in, unlock, and then walk out. All right. Easy yeah. as that. And then run away with... Had to last one... <laughs> tear up your Had to last one fist fight. Yeah. All right, so, number one, I'm presuming that anyone who has ever known Deidreo in this town would never recognize him anymore, because no, number one... Number one, he's become, like, a sand barbarian, like genie guy yeah. with like the curly hair with the snake stuff and all yeah that. with the snake stuff face and the, the veil oh, and everything yeah. so number so one about they, they might if they, were looked, if they looked hard enough sure but um, uh so I wandered the city okay and I'm gonna go and oh you're looking for Leland 
No, no, I don't care about Leland. Because I'm interested in maybe finding him u- if, using the rest of this day somehow. If I randomly see Leland, that's one thing, and that might be a luck check. Yeah. But I actually am going to go over to Paradigm Row and check out what's going on with house. Lados' house. Okay. Because I can only think that in the 24 hours before a ball, that there's mad yep. preparations. There's a whole bunch there's of... There's lots of contractors coming in and out, people carrying things in and stuff like that. I am actually going to try to slip in. Okay. And I'm going to where Leland was last. Well, you don't know. He, he left the bar last. He said where he was going. No, he just said he's going to get food. Yeah, so I'm going to go to the marketplace. All right, cool. Where they sell food, right? <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah, you could just ask around. It's like, hey, have you seen this guy?